So today I am doing the Eagle View Walk Trail in John Forest National Park. Now John Forest National Park is the oldest national park in Western Australia, second oldest in Australia and it's renowned for its waterfalls and the railway heritage of the area. So we've just crossed under one of the old rail bridges that passes through the park. Back in the day, obviously, when there were no cars, the way that people came to John Forest National Park was often by train. And while the train line doesn't exist anymore, it forms part of the Railway Reserve's Heritage Trail, which passes through the park. Now, I'm heading towards National Park Falls, which follows the, the Eagle View in a clockwise direction. Okay, so we are now approaching the Eagle View Lookout. Now, it sometimes is said that the Eagle View Trail is named after the lookout, but that's not true. What the trail was named after was what used to be a view of an eagle's nest. However, the nest was on a tree that burnt down, so they changed it so that it's an eagle's view rather than it being a view of an eagle's nest. Now that we are past the Eagle View Lookout, the amount of other walkers that we should go by is, should reduce. And that's because really the main traffic is between the waterfall and the Eagle View Lookout. You can kind of understand it. It's more family friendly to just do that. And it's all the hits really for a lot of people. However, we're now gonna enter some of the more remote parts of the park. And some of this is really good and well worth the effort.
Okay, so all those waterfalls and rapids, that is Christmas Tree Creek. And that I think is a good reason to keep going and do the whole Eagle View loop rather than just going just to the lookout. So from here, things get a little bit less exciting. I think we are gonna head through some Wandu, which is nice, but also some ordinary looking Jarrah. But the trail is well constructed at least. So it's not a lot of vehicle track walking, which can sometimes be a bit of a problem in the Perth Hills. So I am in the most remote part of the trail, which is on the other side of the valley of Christmas Tree Creek. And I have to say, you know, even though the forest here is scrappy regrowth and it's recovering from bushfire, the fact that there's no people is really nice. It's just a really great change of change of pace because it does feel a little bit, you know, especially filming like, oh, you know, you're in the way of people, but being able to just walk and talk and see things at your own pace, it's really great. So those views of Hovia Falls were actually from a side trip off the Eagle View Trail. And I have to admit, the views were better than I remember. And I think last time I was here, what happened was the rocks were so slippery you couldn't get closer. So this is like a perfect sort of situation where it rained yesterday, the day before, but not today, which meant that we could get to the waterfall itself. So that's, uh, that's Eagle View. 15 kilometers in John Forest National Park. To get into the park, there is an entry fee because it's one of the parks that has a lot of facilities, picnic areas, etc. Um, if you don't want to pay, you can walk uh, three kilometers from a car park outside of the park that goes through the Swan View Tunnel. So that's another option if you want a slightly longer, cheaper option to do this trail. Overall, I think, Eagle View is a trail that has 
some really massive hires. Some of the best stuff in Perth is along this trail. But then it also has a lot of just samey Jarrah Forest. So I don't know, it's kind of a hard one because the best bits are so good, you really, you know, you really can't complain. But that last quarter leading up to Hovia Falls was a little bit taxing. But hey, your mileage might vary. 